Well, as you can hear, she's here today with us live in the studio. Welcome. Woo! Brilliant. Yes. Oh, so true. Oh, brilliant. How are you? I'm you had really, a good journey really good. down and everything. Yes, it's been it's been a while since I got on a train. I actually kind of missed it. It's been fantastic coming back <laughs> to the too, studio, actually. hasn't it? Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Obviously, we're all keeping our, our distance, but um, we are here in a studio live. So can you explain Truth, to, to, to people at home and all the young people out there what you do as an electronic engineer? Yeah, so I work at LV as an electronic engineer and I make all sorts of circuits. I've got some circuits with me here today. So you might have seen sort of a, a PCB before, a printed circuit board wow. before. Uh, do you want to know how it works? Just a little bit, that'd be yeah. great. Yeah. Do you want to make your own? Oh, there's oh, no way. Yeah. <laughs> look, at this, look how fat my Look. fingers are. There's no Flat chance. TV. Come on. So I've got an easy way to make a circuit really? on paper. Wow. Yes. Well, then, yes, on okay, paper. So I've got some conductive ink here. Condu Would you? Yes. Can I do it too? Yes. Would you like? Oh, yeah. Just come a little bit closer. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> conductive pen. Conductive pen. And we mean and conductive this? like for electricity, not sort of you know. Yes. yes conductive <laughs> pen. Yeah, I was going to say it's a very good conductive pen. That marvelous. I'm sure that would be. I'm sure that would be marvelous too. Um, and I have got my girl power notebook. Oh, yes. this is awesome. Yeah. Uh, Am I and allowed? Got... Is that okay? Go on. Just yeah, this come time. On. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to describe it a little bit. So mm. here, can you see how tiny that component is? Yes. That's an LED. Right. That's going to emit some light. It's not really going to emit light, though. It's going to emit some light, really? Mark. It's going to emit some light. Show it, show it up there to camera two, if you would mind. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. So that's an LED over there, and that's a resistor. Wow, this is going yes. to be fantastic. So can you work out why we need a resistor before the LED? Go on, Mark. You can do it. Um, uh, to stop the light working. Actually, kind of close, kind of close. It's to limit the current going to the light because uh, if you put too much current, it can go boom. Got you. We don't want this to go boom, do we? And why doesn't the resistor go boom? Am I going too into this now? I, could, I don't know much about <laughs> so this. So the resistor can also go boom if oh, you can. choose the wrong resistor. So we yeah. are making sure that there is enough power that this resistor is rated at yes. for the power line that we are drawing. So I'm going to wow. get you to draw some power lines. Are you ready for that? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Come okay, on, okay. Right. So, Does it have to be special paper or can it be any paper? It can be any paper. Wow. Special paper. It has to be a special pen, a conductive pen. This one is called Circuit Scribe and you can buy it from Amazon. Yeah? Shall oh, we yeah. go for it? Yeah. All right. This is your Girl Power paper. Thank you very much. And this I is... I what's on your um, Christmas list now, Oh, Mark. this is absolutely <laughs> on my Christmas list now. I mean... And this is your... Right, this is fantastic. So you've, you've drawn already on there a... Uh, there, there's like a that, that's an LED, is it? Yes. And that's the resistor. Yes. So and what so we need to do is we need to complete the circuit here. You can either draw a line or you can draw a heart squiggle as long as it connects to each other. Shall we do it? Yeah. All right. All right. What are you going to draw? I'm going to draw. Mine started off as a heart, but I'm it's going to draw wrong. lots I'm of gonna squiggles. I'm going to draw sort of a heart too. Oh yeah. So make sure the line is nice and thick because we want yeah, it to I'm be the to... easiest path for so, electricity so which to go through. Which camera should I go on? This one over here, do you want me to, should I come a bit closer? Mine's like half a butterfly okay. so, sort of so, thing. Oh, that's what, so cute! What, what, what we got there is, we, we, oh, let me just check. Which, hang on, which, which one's the LED? Is it that one? Yes, okay. the, so the top well, one is I've, the LED. I haven't, I haven't got very good eyes. <laughs> that's, the, that's the LED there. <laughs> that's the LED there. That's the resistor, and I've drawn a wiggly line, and I've, I've, I've I think we need some electricity now at that end. But yeah, we'll we need that. Right. So how, how, how do we provide that electricity? Yes, yes, exactly, 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 right, yes. One in. I've got some batteries for you. Oh, little okay. tiny batteries. Me, now, you must be very first. careful if you're trying this at home. I'm just going to put out a warning now. These little batteries are, can be very, very dangerous if you're, if you're a small child, isn't that right? So if you're doing this at home, make sure you get an adult to help you. And those little batteries must be put away safe afterwards because if you swallow them, they can cause all sorts of problems. Exactly. Good, good. Just so get that. We're going to put the negative terminal here yes. at the end of the diode. So there. Right. And then I am going to... Wow, oh, wow it actually Make lights up. Make so That's bonkers. Oh, can I, show, can I show them up there? Yeah, yeah, you, so you, you use it. Can, right, here we go. So, <laughs> so, so you've got your... your oh, that, that, so you put your little batteries on, on the big fat one. Yep. And then, and then you bend that over. Oh, it's not going to work for so me. So the negative it? terminal on the diode end, on the LED. Go on, Mark, you can do go it. Go on, Mark, I believe in you. Come on. Oh, no, you shouldn't have. <laughs> no, no, it's... it's, it's oh. You know what, that's my favourite part when I so, make circuits, is working out what went wrong. I think it's my fingers have gone wrong, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, 
No, nothing from me, okay, nothing from me. me. But it, it did work over it. here. It did work <laughs> over here, I promise you. Um, let uh, me do it. Go on, Shrew's going to jump up Come and on, show Shrew. you all this. Okay, so I am putting that terminal there. I was really, I was really excited then as well. Actually, you nearly actually, did I, it. I know, I know. It's oh, like sorry. this was my whole. I think my. I think it's many years at school, against. just shaking heads at me. <laughs> oh. Mr. Clue, he'll remember. Mine stopped working too. Come on. You did see it light up, didn't you? Did see I it see light it. up. <laughs> I see it. There Fantastic. It so literally, you could do all that with a pen, piece yes. of paper, and some and some things. So. So uh, you started off there when we were asking about, about femtech and all those things. What, what, what does that mean? Um, what some of the things you've brought in with sure. us? Sure. So this is a breast pump that LV makes, that my company makes. And this is the sort of thing that I'd be working on. So I could be designing a PCB, a printed circuit board that looks just like this. Wow. So that's very similar to what we drew here. Yes. There are some tracks uh, and they are connected to each other. But actually, what's really cool about that is it can be multiple layers. So even though you can see one layer at the top and one layer at the bottom, there are layers in between no two way. off tracks. Yes, exactly. Um, but yeah, it's not uh, it's not as hard as people think it is. It really isn't. And and what what got you into all this, Shri? When did you become sort of in, in, so interested in in electronic engineering and everything that you're so excited about? Well, honestly, it was literally just figuring out that people on my TV didn't live inside it. And then it made me bonkers about electronics. I used to take all of my electronics apart. I took apart my mum's mobile phone. And did I it work younger. afterwards? It did not work. Oh, that's, I did that with my dad as well. I used to take all my yeah. stuff apart and he could never fix it afterwards. He'd be she like, was not happy. I can imagine. Yes. <laughs> if you had to pick one of the projects you've worked on, like the best project, you've worked on, which one, which one would it be? Oh, the best projects that I worked on. Um, I love all the technologies that I make right now. Uh, probably my master's project was my favorite one. So I made um, a machine that can detect things like cancer based on electron quantum spin. Uh, and I uh -huh. minim oh, yeah. <laughs> miniaturized the machine uh, that usually fills a whole room. So if you think of an MRI machine, it's yes. quite big, right? Yep. So it's something similar in size and normally cost hundreds of thousands of pounds, if not millions of pounds. What I made does the same thing, but it's about this size no. and cost about 300 pounds to make. Wow. Yes. That, <laughs> that makes be. it so accessible for people as well, yeah, doesn't it? Exactly. Brilliant. It's brilliant. Fantastic. <laughs> and, and you've also um, worked with surgeons operating on the eye, haven't you? I mean, are, are you squeamish for a start? Did that not? <laughs> did you have to watch operations on eyes? Actually, I didn't have to do a lot of, of watching the, the operations themselves. I spoke with the surgeons and honestly, that was one of my first ever electronic engineering projects. Projects and I was terrified. I thought I couldn't do it and I spoke with them and really when I simplified the problem, so what they wanted to do is they have a probe that they use to, to do the surgery. So they wanted to make sure that the surgeon's hands are not too shaky, so they wanted to make sure they're not nervous and they wanted to make sure that they finish the operation in time. So all I had to do is put a vibration sensor, an accelerometer. If you don't know what an accelerometer is, it's how your phone knows if it's in portrait mode or in landscape mode. Uh, also, a sensor that detects sweat called galvanic skin response, um, and then a time logger. Literally, when you simplify it to these things, wow. it's, not, it's not as terrifying as you might think. And, and that's really what engineering is, isn't it? Yeah, it's like taking yeah. a problem and finding a solution and then simplifying it to make it cost effective yeah and there's so many different applications you yeah. know you could take those three things that you said there and just apply it to so many different things not just eye technology as well yeah you? absolutely yeah. and it's really creative this is why i brought the pens here because i yeah, want brilliant. people to be able to them. draw yeah. you know a flower and hearts and and and, and house and make a whole village on their paper and Never you can do that at home. that this is, is brilliant this is going to be a winner with my daughter <laughs> yeah absolutely can i keep this now yeah. Yeah. Yes, you, i can't give it back to you now absolutely. so absolutely well I've touched it now yeah, as well, yeah, so we yeah. can't, so we can't sterilise yeah. that, that's that now. <laughs> uh, but you won the IET's WES Prize, the Women Engineering Society Award, part of the IET's YWE. And um, what did that mean to win the award? It must have been amazing. It, uh, it was everything that I just made me have so much more confidence in my own skills and made me feel like... I am the engineer that I see myself as, um, but it was, it was just a, 
an amazing, amazing experience. And I met so many wonderful people during that competition as well. Yeah. But some of them are here today, aren't they? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the first time you've actually met them in person as well, isn't it? Because oh. we had to do so much virtually this year, yes. haven't we? But, but how did that happen, though? Doing all of the virtual stuff happened because of engineering, right? Exactly. We have the engineering exactly. to do all of this virtual yeah. conferences and competitions. It was amazing. Live we didn't, we didn't studios. Stop. Live studios. Like, all, yeah. all amazing. Exactly. No, it's brilliant. Um, I've got it. We, we've just been using resistors here. Can I tell you my joke? Yeah. yeah. Go on, go on. I've got, is, it, is this yeah, a good I've one? Is it worth it's building It's an engineering up for? joke. You All ready? Right, come on then. We're, we're waiting for this, aren't we now? Wait. Why did Mr. Ohm marry Mrs. Ohm? I don't know. Why did Why? Mr. Ohm <laughs> marry Mrs. Ohm? Because he couldn't resist her. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like that one. I love it. <laughs> love it. Brilliant. Oh, we've got a long way to go. It's going to be a long day. I can so see it now. Oh, no. um, well, that is amazing. Absolutely, Absolutely amazing, amazing stuff you've done, isn't it? Thank, Thank you, you so much, Rook. It's been brilliant. And it's, it just shows, doesn't it, how amazing electro electricity is and how it's just at the centre of everything we do.